Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion. We'll be taking a quick overview of the Sapphire Pure Black P67 Hydra Edition motherboard. This has an Intel P67 chipset in it. It also has a Lucid Hydra chipset so you can actually use different uh, GPUs in sequence uh, on this board. So you could use an AMD and an, and an NVIDIA video card at the same time. Per their black edition, it's black and silver on the box. It shows some of your features. It shows what it contains. Of course, the Lucid Hydra logo up on the top. If we flip to the back of the box, we have the Sapphire logo, some of the features on the board. And let's take a quick look at the inside of the box itself. inside box is black and if we open it up on the top of the box is all the are all the accessories etc and underneath that of course is the motherboard motherboard is contained in an anti-static bag and if we pull it out of its anti-static bag we will actually see what the motherboard looks like It is P67 chipset, socket 1155. Flip that up. Of course, again, I think this is going to be my credo here. Pull from the bottom when you're lifting off the tab. You don't want to bend the brushes. There's your brushes for your chipset. As you can see, it comes with two heat sinks. And this is the heatsink for the Lucid Hydra chipset. Four DIMM slots, DDR3. Turn the board over to its side. This is a particular uh, peculiar setup, but if it works, it works. The battery is actually up on the top by the DIMM slots on this motherboard, instead of being on the bottom down around the, around the chipset. 24 pin connector. We have two, four, six SATA ports and unlike a lot of the boards nowadays this actually does have a speaker on it so actually you can hear your CMOS beep. Going to the bottom of the board we can see the debug also another SATA port, fan connector, reset and a power switch and a clear CMOS button with another fan connector. One, two, three, four PCIe, 2.0 slots, two PCI slots. If we go over to this side, we can see that we have two USB 2.0, PS2 connector, optical and RCA output for sound. This is Bluetooth capable eSATA and SATA, USB 2.0, Firewire, more US two, USB 2.0 ports, USB 3, and your LAN, and then of course your six audio ports. It will require an 8-pin connector on your CPU, and up on the very top is where you plug in your heatsink. The back of the motherboard as you can see, it has a stabilization unit for the heat sink, and it also has a plate behind the uh, socket itself. As per the accessories that come with the board, we have six SATA cables. Of course, your I.O. port or bracket. user's manual and last but not least 
your installation disk for all your software. This has been a quick overview of the Sapphire Pure Black P67 Hydra motherboard. Thank you.